Hi, I'm Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to show you how to wear the Rebel look. The Rebel is a mesmerising emerald jewel look for women that love to wear colour. It's for girls that are inspired by the naughty rebels of the past such as Madonna and Grace Jones or the style icons of the future such as Beyonce. I'm going to show you how to get a beautiful dialed down version for the day and an eye-catching, mesmerising, enchanting look for the night. So I'm going to start off by prepping the skin using my Miracle Working Moisturiser Magic Cream. It will instantly give you gorgeous, dewy, luminous, plumped, with lots of collagen and water and oil skin. I pop on a little bit of my Lip Love, which is a gorgeous scrub. Next, I'm going to pop on a little bit of my Lip Magic, so it really hydrates the lips. It's a breakthrough lip balm. And next I'm applying Wonder Glow, which we call Gisela Najjar, with the hyaluronic acid and fluorescent core, this new technology that soft focuses all your lines and pores. It's just a miracle worker. And now I'm going to pop on a little bit of my Light Wonder foundation, starting at the centre of the face, working outwards. And it's really beautiful, this foundation, because it just feels so weightless as if you're wearing nothing, but gives you this wonderful coverage. Last 10 hours, and really floods the skin full of lots of moisture. Next, I'm going to use my retoucher, and my retoucher is fabulous because it sort of retouches out any red marks around the nose, underneath the eyes, any blemishes you might have. And it's got a lipidic complex in it, and it sort of acts like a kind of fluid plaster. It smooths everything out. It's quite wonderful, actually, this formula. I'm now going to apply my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and it's a really beautifully finely milled powder and it's also got almond oil and rose wax in it. And because it's so beautifully milled, it just smooths everything out and glides over pores and makes your face look flawless and poreless. I'm now going to apply my Brow Lift, three-way shape lift and shade tool. I'm going to brush up the eyebrows to reveal the shape. And then it's got this wonderful flat angled pencil so that when you draw, it mimics exactly the shape of the way that your brows grow, so you can fill in any holes. And so I'm going to start off in the inner corner and going upwards to the outer point, give the eyes a little bit of lift. The eyebrows are the pillars of the face, make your eyebrows look really beautiful because it gives your whole eye and your face a bit of a lift. Next I'm going to use my eyelash curlers in rose gold and they're marvellous. Get right to the base of the lash and they give you that instant uplift on the lashes. And then repeat if you've got stubborn lashes. Now I'm going to take my eyeshadow palette in Rebel and dipping my blending brush into the prime shade, I'm going to swish that backwards and forwards across the eye and do it in circular motions all the way across the eyelid. Next I'm going to take my eye smudger brush and dipping it into the enhanced shade, take that and literally in a half moon shape put that into the socket and then taking it down along the lash line. I'm getting your blending brush and going backwards and forwards in circular motions in the outer corner. And then do the same on the other eye. Now I'm going to take my smudger brush and dipping it into the smoke shade. I'm going to wash that along the lash line, top of the eyes, and then the outer corner. I'm getting your blending brush and dipping it into the smoke shade and then doing a little wash all the way across the lids, just backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper. I'm now going to apply my Rock and Cold Eyeliner in Bedroom Black. I'm going to start by using it on the inner corner of the eye, gliding it really straight along the lash line, getting it right into the lashes, and then as you get three quarters of the way along, sweeping upwards and outwards, just to give a little bit of a lift to the eye. Next, I'm going to apply my Full Fat Lashes Mascara, which curls, separates, adds volume, length and drama all in one. What's so great about it is that you can literally kind of build it up from sort of desk to disco. I'm now going to use my mascara wand diagonally on the bottom lashes to coat each individual lash. I'm now going to take my Film Style Bonds and Glow and dipping in my powder and sculpt brush into the sculpt shade. You suck in your cheeks and then literally you can see a shadow and you just follow the hollow. And then you go along your jawline and up into the temples. And all of this sort of creates narrow the face and enhance your killer cheekbones. And for gorgeous natural lip, I'm now applying Hall of Fame Lip Lustre Lip Lacquer Gloss. And it's really pretty because it's a very soft, 
peachy pinky hue. And I'm now gonna finish off the look with my Cheek to Cheek Blusher in First Love. It's a really pretty, earthy, tawny color. I'm gonna swish and pop and pop a little bit of that on the top of the cheekbones. It's very natural, healthy glow. And now I'm gonna show you how to dial up the Rebel look. Now I'm going to take my smudger brush and popping it into the smoke shade. I'm going to draw backwards and forwards underneath the eye, create a little bit of a smudgy, beautiful, smoky effect. Take my eye smudger brush and dipping it into the smoke shade, just going along the lash line. I'm now going to line the inner rim of the eyes with my rock and coal pencil in bedroom black. I'm now going to pop on a little bit more of my bedroom black eyeliner. Tracing again along the lash line just to make it a little bit stronger. And I'm finally going to use the pop shape by putting my finger and literally dabbing it in the eyeshadow and putting it directly onto the eye. It's the easiest way to put on eyeshadow. It's this particular formula that has this wonderful kind of metallic sheen and oils in it. So it's incredibly forgiving and you can put it on with a finger. I'm dialing up the look for the evening and I'm putting lashings and my full fat lashes mascara on, just to give you that really amplified lash. I'm now going to line the lips with my Lip Cheats Lip Liner in Kiss and Tell. And it's really brilliant when you're doing a red lip because I think red lips are very unforgiving. Whenever you do a red lip, you can really see any sort of bump in the lips or any mistakes. So it's really important, I think, when doing a red lip to line the lips so you have this utter precision. And now I'm going to take my Lipstick in Love Bite and my Precision Lip Brush and I'm going to fill in the lips. I'm now going to take my Film Star Bonds and Glow and dipping my Eye Blender Brush into the Sculpt Shade, I'm going to draw down the side of the nose and loop around the bottom of the nose and then way back up again. And that just gives you a natural bit of sculpting. Again, that's a classic backstage Hollywood trick. Taking my Powder and Sculpt Brush and dipping it into the Sculpt Shade, because for the evening, you could just give it a little bit more drama off your killer cheekbones. And then taking your powder and sculpt brush and dipping it into the highlight shade to a little C on top of the cheekbones. And this is sort of dripping them in candlelight. So there you have it, the Rebel look, a more beautiful, edgy way to wear colour. And for those of you that fancy a matte alternative, Very Victoria also looks fantastic with this look. Start by lining the lips with Iconic Nude, my Lip Cheap Lip Liner that reshapes and resizes the lips. And I'm now going to fill in the lips with my fabulous Matte Revolution lipstick in Very Victoria, which was designed in homage to Victoria Beckham. So there you have it, the Rebel, an amazing, sexy way to wear colour.